one. Live back on Project Death of Dog. Look at this. Uh, Doug Jones has noticed now that the game is already offering you various places to go. And even treasures to pick up. So it's beating Final Fantasy XIII now. You know what, though? This is what the kids are complaining about Final Fantasy XIII not being. What they want is a game where you walk around and run into all of the walls and press the X button as many times as you can until suddenly it tells you you've found a treasure. This is this is Final Fantasy non-linear. Don't kid yourself, children. Final Fantasy XIII is a good thing. What it's doing for the Final Fantasy series. This I'm not... Wow, yeah, I totally want to spoil something about Final Fantasy XIII for you, but I'm not going to. Well, you, you've already had it spoiled, that the game becomes hugely non-linear uh, halfway through. Kind of. I have trouble believing that after it playing it. It becomes hugely non-linear halfway through. It becomes a complete... It literally, it becomes a completely different game. Right on. Like a completely different game. As long as it becomes a game better than this one. The hot babe has appeared. HB. What's up, HB? <laughs> Look in the refrigerator. You want some, you want some HP? Oh, oh. You see it? Get out of the water yet. I know there's stuff in the water here. I know there's some little treasures you can pick up here. Have you found the... Would you like to read all of the al all bad statements there for us, buddy? What? Would you like to read all the all bad statements for us? Oh man! Oh God! <laughs> You're a hundred and eleven hour quest. Yeah, we saw that. We saw that. Yeah. yeah. So we what we're gonna do is we're gonna we play as far as we can, and then when we're done for the night, we're just gonna go and play your quest. And we did our saves and since we'll your card was full. We, we saved over a save on your card that's only like 26 hours into the game. I don't know. It's not mine. I didn't think it was yours, so we just went ahead and saved Actually, over it. Actually, I was playing it psychically last night on your computer. Blue Lars. Okay, anyway, back to the game. We got sidetracked. What do we have here? Hey, oh wait, you should try these voices stuff. for these characters because as the facts the box has stated, so they're so good. Fully voiced. This is like some of the best series I've ever had for about 70% of the game. It's like banana nut muffin in a box. And crispy. And crispy. So delicious. SG. Oh, Final Fantasy <laughs> Exploration. I love pressing the X button while running into walls. <laughs> this 30 seconds of Project FF Dog brought to you by <laughs> Banana Nut Cheerios. Just pressing <laughs> X. A positively delicious, <laughs> darling. <laughs> yes, you can, you can be doing all that for us. Sick dad. Whatever that means. I would imagine that we could probably See, now read everything you know, in all bed. Sick dad. I think Summer really looks like Titus from the Final Fantasy. What do you think? Banana nut Cheerios. It's like it's a muffin in a bowl. Fantasy again. I can't help it. It's hey, they mix, they mix. did you know Banana Nut Cheerios is made flavored with real banana and natural banana flavor? Banana flavor. Awesome. It's flavored with real banana and natural <laughs> banana flavor. No, I think it's just is like a Pillsbury Toaster Scrambles. It is a, all this different meat in a, what do they call it? Like a cheese flavored sauce or something like that? But go. not with cheese, cheese flavored sauce. How do you put cheese flavor in something without cheese? Natural cheese and cheese flavor. Yeah, we've just compiled the entire Albed dictionary. Yep, because my wife is very thorough 
and has kindly uh, deciphered the entirety of the Albed dictionary uh, on her we own team. Like he's good. Anyway, you were, you were mixing your uh, tales of Final Fantasy there a little bit ago, and I wanted to tell you that I gave you some semi-false information. I told you that uh, the guy that does the voice of Snow in the American version of Final Fantasy XIII, like you know, is uh, some dude from a uh, band in Texas or whatever that has a very doodly voice and that I'd never heard of him. Well, the part that I'd never heard of him was wrong because actually he does the voice of Yuri in Tales of Despair. Okay, that's Yuri's voice. Okay. That is... Oh, he went to Snow. What a step down. Snow? Hey, guys. <laughs> My name is Snow. <laughs> well, you, I think I know why his name is Snow, actually, because there's a Korean... Uh, what's his name? Singer, celebrity named Rain. That's like his name. And uh, he was actually he was in the Speed Racer movie. I was so I was watching the Speed Racer film the other day because I hadn't seen it. Okay, we've got a linear path here. There's a branch. Let's see what we find at the end. Maybe there's a treasure. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Oh my. He's a genius. We're learning how to use the mini map. Hey, buses. We can go back. It is. It is considerably more 3D than uh, it has to be, too. That's nice. They're going an extra mile. They're going an extra quarter of a mile, maybe. But it's not fully 3D. I do like the pacing at the beginning of the game, though. You start out with all this confusing weirdness, and now you're in this quiet, contemplative place, and then eventually you're, uh, you're on a boat, and then you wash up on a shore. You get a whole bunch of stuff happening. Like, I see a treasure chest over there. Like, you're like, where the heck am I? That and then, kid. don't you find a boss inside this thing and then the albeds pick you up? You. Yeah. You are very much at the beginning, are you? Yeah, but yeah. we started a new quest. That's what we always that's do. Project FF Dog, that's what we did. I know, I'm just saying. For some reason, I thought you guys had been Oh my gosh, I never longer. realized that those were the Sahagan or however you pronounce it. Oh god. I love this battle music. Not. <laughs> oh, snap. Yeah, I just psyched Final Fantasy X. Objectively, the worst music ever to appear in the Final Fantasy series. They should have just brought back... <laughs> it would have been better than this. It would have. God, that music was so good. And those who fight further... That was such a good soundtrack from Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, there are, there are some really good Final Fantasy battle themes, but I just I don't understand where, you know, as he was creating this, he listened to it and he was like, yeah, you know, the person playing the game is gonna want to hear this piece of music over four hundred <laughs> times more than any other piece in the game. It doesn't gonna make like sense it. that they don't do mul that they didn't do multiple battle themes for this game because they were any voices game. for God's there's, sake. There's no excuse. It's obvious that, and the sound is so good in this game. The sound quality, like uh, all the, the ambient music is amazing. Then in Lost Odyssey, the ambient stuff was fantastic. Well, the ambient too. stuff in this is... Uh, yeah, it's really great. It's all done by the composer of Final Fantasy XIII, so there you go. There you, there you have it. Final Fantasy XIII has good ambient stuff in it, too. Well, that's because it's composed by the guy who did the ambient stuff for Final Fantasy X. What? Good guy. He's a smart guy. Yeah. I believe this guy's going to try to kill me. Why don't they have multiple battle themes in these games? He's got a cage in his belly. Why not in Dragon Quest either? That's that's weird, too. No multiple battle themes. Well, Dragon Quest is bound by tradition. Whereas Final Fantasy, you know, prides itself on breaking the mold every time they make a new one. But every single god darn time. <laughs> So many things that need to be Is that sausage? Oh, it's jelly beans. Jelly wow, I need I need new glasses or something. <laughs> I saw a bag of jelly bellies and thought it was a sausage. I thought she was bringing a sausage out of the bedroom. And, uh, <laughs> that would be really weird if I get sausage in the bedroom. I guess it's kind of weird that I keep jelly bellies sitting in there. Should well, I? Now the, the whole entirety of the FF Dog viewership uh, now knows our strange sausage fetish in the bedroom. <laughs> That's not the... Good old sausage. <laughs>